right, so welcome back to another video. And to even start off the video, night intro today is just like, what do we say at this point? At this point, the NBA is just all over the place. If you don't know, Kevin Durant is heading to the Phoenix Suns to play with Chris Paul and Devin Booker in a trade that's in Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, and Jay Crowder for some salary filler picks, I would assume. And like five picks, I think four is unprotected and one's like a pick swap. But anyway, so we seen Kyrie get traded and then the Brooklyn Nets came out and said, we, we're going to continue to build around Kevin Durant. And then Kyrie goes out First game in Dallas does does pretty good. They get the W, and then immediately at one one in one in the morning, breaking news: Kevin Durant is heading to Phoenix. That is that is that is insane. Now let's just talk about let's get the Brooklyn Nets talk out the way. Uh, yeah. So so the Brooklyn Nets. Um, the this is probably the one of the biggest what ifs. It had James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, three Hall of Fame players, three of the greatest players of all time. And in a span of about 16 months, they're no longer on the team. Now, now the roster for Brooklyn is looking like Ben Simmons, Dorian Finney-Smith, Spencer Dinwiddie, the great GOAT Cam Thomas. And it's... it's they're still going to be... Like, the Brooklyn, Okay, don't get me wrong. The Brooklyn is still going to be a good, fun team to watch that... No, KD and Kyrie got them to a position where, like, if they can continue to play decently, they could make the playoffs. But that organization, I I don't know just just what's like just what happened. So now we got that out the way. Let's talk about. I I'm still in disbelief because like just how does this happen? And um, reports that came out that that the Brooklyn Nets are now that they have Jay Crowder, they're probably trying to ship Jay Crowder out and. A lot of teams are trying to get after Mikael Bridges and uh, Cam Thomas. So, um, not, wow, Cam Johnson. So let's see how that works out. But yeah, so Kevin Durant is going to play with Devin Booker and Chris Paul. And I hate to, no, I don't hate to say it, but Chris Paul might actually get a ring. This instantly puts them back in title contention. Now, don't get me wrong. They have no bench depth at all. The Probably the best player off the bench is... Ish Wainwright or um, Dario Saric, but so they don't really have a bench. And for uh, for players that are known to be injury prone, Devin Booker just came back from injury, playing pretty good. Chris Paul has always over the past few years has been in and out with injuries, and Kevin Durant just you no, know, he's dealing with injuries. So that's a big question that a lot of people have is like, how does this continue to like play for the rest of the season? I'm pretty sure that th there probably gonna be a lot of rest, but even with that happening, you st you still have three three good players. You have the point guy in Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Hall of Famer, who's who's probably gonna come to this team and be the leading scorer. Then you have Devin Booker, you have Devin Booker, KD and Devin. Let's not even forget the Andre Ayton and Stiller. They managed to make this trade happen and keep the Andre Ayton, which is confusing to me. Because for the Brooklyn Nets, they say they were going to build around Kevin Durant. Okay, they trade Kevin Durant. So, automatically, this puts them, like, rebuild mode. They got a lot of young players. They brought in Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, two players that should be on, like, playoff teams. So, I feel bad for them, but I know they're going to continue to hoop. But why not ask – well, I'm pretty sure they probably did ask for the Andre Ayton. But if I'm Brooklyn – I'm asking for the Andre A. Mikel Bridges and Cam Johnson. I need, I mean, I know you got Nicholas Claxton in there, but why not ask for like young, more young players? Because I low key feel like this might be an underpay. I so Kevin Durant gets shipped out. Oh, L. Oh, T. J. Warren is also part of the trade too. Not sure if T. J. Warren stays on the team. I will hope so, since they don't have any bench depth. I hope T. J. Warren stays on the team for the Phoenix Suns, but. Cam Johnson, Mikael Bridges, and four four first rounders, unprotected, I think, and then one pick swap. I low key feel like that's an underpay. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson. I just feel like Brooklyn probably should have acquired more in this trade. I'm just I'm I'm lost for words. I don't like this is this is this is insane.
that in the matter of, of 16 months, we saw a team with Kyrie, James Harden, and Kevin Durant gone. Only won one playoff series. Gone. Oh, man. Chris Paul might get a ring. We instantly have to put this team back in title contention. They were always going to be a playoff team. When you have Devin Booker, DeAndre Aiden, Chris Paul, that's good enough to get you to the playoffs. But when you add Kevin Durant, does this instantly make them the favorites to win it all in the West? Again, they don't have no bench dev. Uh, wonder what they do about that. Maybe they could trade somebody from the bench. Dario Sarge is like the only person that's coming to mind at this point. <laughs> Cause I know Ish Wayne Rice not getting you nothing. I know. How many more picks like do they have? Like do they have number second round picks at this point? Cause they traded all their first round picks to twenty twenty nine. So how do you how do you package something to get uh, more bench depth? Because like I said, these players are known to be injury prone. But this it was one in the I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. But this was one in the morning. Wow, Kevin Durant is a Phoenix Suns, and I, I can only think like C.J. McCollum said last night when it first happened. This is all due to John Morant. When John Morant made that statement, everything changed. Every, everything changed, man. This is unbelievable, but I, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it. We still got some more trades to come through. We got more details about the trade, hopefully. But, yeah, Kevin Durant is a Phoenix Sun. Like, is that what you call him? Yeah, he's a Phoenix Sun. Never thought we would see the day that this happened, but the West is, is stacked now. Kyrie with Luka, Kevin Durant... Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Insane, man. Can't get the Andre A, but Phoenix Suns fans in the comments, let me know how are y'all feeling? Brooklyn Nets fans, please, please tell me how y'all feeling. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and man, man, man.